Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey, if you enjoy the video, consider clicking like, subscribe, bell notification, and the join button. Uh, becoming a channel member is only $4.99 a month. It really, really helps me out, and you get a bunch of perks like these badges for how long you've been a member for. Uh, you get these emojis for my live stream chats, and you get access to my videos when I upload them instead of when I release them. So thanks so much, and enjoy the video. Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to EV train uh, probably the fastest way in Pokemon Emerald possible. Um, before you get started, there's going to be a few things you need. One, you have to have beaten the game. Um, this is because you need access to the underground path that the digger guy built. Uh, you're also going to need um, a few different items. So... Um, I recommend uh, using the cloning glitch for all of these. Um, you're going to need like a substantial amount of like of different items, and so I'll go over each one of them. First of all, you're going to need a lot of rare candies. Um, again, you can get this basically just by getting one rare candy and doing the cloning glitch over and over and over again. Um, and the same for all the following items as well. Uh, you're going to need one of every single item here. Um, HP up uh, to increase HP. Zinc for special defense, iron for defense, protein for attack, carbos for speed, and calcium for special attack. You're going to need a lot of each of these. Each of these give 10 EVs each, and you can do 10 uh, per stat if you want. So you can get a 100 EV jump start, and there's no reason not to use them in this gen, just because um, you can clone them very easily with the cloning glitch. Um, uh, and then the last thing you're going to need is the Macho Brace. Uh, you get the Macho Brace by um, defeating the Windstraight House on Route 111 in Hoenn. Um, and you can buy one of each of these um, little vitamins. You can buy one of each from the um, Lily Cove department store. Okay. So once you have that, it's also going to be helpful to have Poke Rust. Now, I know Poke Rust is pretty rare. Um, however,. Um, if you want to get it, there's a few different ways. Um, I think the primary method of getting it is going to just be uh, using the Pomeg glitch. I'll link to a tutorial for getting it from the Pomeg glitch in the description. Okay. So once you have once you have all the vitamins and the um, the uh, uh, Pomeg. Uh, a glitch done, so you have Pokerus, and uh, you also have the um, Macho Bracer. Uh, you're just going to need a few more things, and they're going to be Pokemon. So the way this trick is going to work is you're going to be using Ditto uh, to give you repeatedly three uh, EVs over and over again. So all of the Pokemon I'm, I've got here on the bottom screen. They each give three EVs when you kill uh, when you kill them. However, normally they're very difficult to kill over and over again in the sense that like there's no wild Metagross in the game or there's no wild Zapdos in Emerald. Um, and the reason this trick works so well and the reason I say it's only for Emerald is for two reasons. One, um, the clone glitch for all of the items and stuff like that. And um, uh, two is. Um, you use these Pokemon, uh, you need them to be high level. They don't need to be 100, as you can see, my Groudon and Xbot are both, they're neither of them are 100, but they, um, they need to be able to kill the enemy Ditto, who's going to be around level 40. Ditto will have all of the same stats as the Pokemon that you've got, but the Ditto, um, the Ditto won't, um, the Ditto will have very low HP, so it's easy to kill in one hit, because it's, it keeps its HP stat. And then also, um, from my testing I've done, you'll always outspeed the Ditto no matter what, so that's just a plus as well. So, um, now if you don't want to use all of these Pokemon, um, there's a pretty easy list you can use on uh, Bulbapedia that will list Pokemon by effort value yield, so I'll show that now. So on Bulbapedia here, you can see this, you can organize it by effort value yield. So if you want a Pokemon that gives perfect... Um, like 3 HP EVs per, and H 3 HP is the most you can be given by a Pokemon, so uh, so we can see, uh, I'm using Xbot here, who gives 3. Now, a lot of the legendaries, luckily, give 3 of 1 stat, so if we look here, I have a Groudon that gives 3 attack each, so boom, right there. 
Um, for defense, I believe Regirock gives three defense. Um, yeah, so you can use Regirock for that. Special attack, I'd be willing to bet Kyogre's got it if Groudon's got attack, but let's see. Oh no, it's Latios. Yeah, it's Latios and Kyogre both give three special attack. Special defense, I'm using Latias. Um, but Red Ice also works. And for speed, this was the hardest one for me. I'm using a Raichu, um, because you can get them in the Safari Zone. Um, it says Deoxys speed form. This actually won't work. Uh, Deoxys, uh, if you use it, will actually just transform into... When Ditto transforms, it'll turn into regular Deoxys. So I recommend either using Sceptile or Raichu. You can get a Pikachu in the Safari Zone like pretty easily. Um, and as you can see, not even many Pokemon give three effort values for speed in general, like in totality. So, yeah. So those are any of the Pokemon that you can use. I recommend getting them to around level 70 or higher. They just have to be able to KO themselves. Alright, so once you've got that done, it's important to know how to do some calculations. Uh, so, if you've got... So actually, let me open up a calculator. I usually have a few open, just from RNG stuff. So, the way this is going to work is by killing a Pokemon with three EVs, like killing a Ditto that's transformed, you'll gain three EVs. If you just have the Macho Bracer, you'll have six EVs per kill. However, um, if you also have Pokeros, you can um, double that again for 12 EVs per kill. So this is a lot of EVs per kill. So we're going to show you here with this uh, bag on I've got. Now the way this works out in it, uh, is really simple actually uh, for the mat. So I'm going to be giving this bag on 10 uh, proteins for attack because I want it to have max attack, right? So this is going to be 100 um, 100 attack right off the bat, which is really nice. It's just a good head start, you know, less uh, enemies you got to kill. And you just keep going until it says it can't be given anymore. That's 10. You can count it, but there's really just no reason to count it. Alright, so that means it's max attack. So now, to figure out how many EVs we need, it's really simple. So you've got 100. Um, so depending on how many EVs you want to give a Pokemon, it really depends on what stat spread you're looking for you know most people just use smogon uh, i use smogon a lot as well especially for older gens where i'm less familiar with optimal ev spreads um so the way you figure it out is um i'm aiming for 252 attack right so whatever you're aiming for you could be aiming for 180 you could be aiming for 252 whatever so i've got 252 um, i'm going to divide that by 12. Uh, excuse me sorry my bad my bad <laughs> Uh, that would be how many if you didn't have any of the protein items. So, 252 divided by 12, that's 21 ditto kills. However, I have 152 EVs remaining because, so, you do 252 minus 100 because I've given it 100 EVs already. So now I can divide this by 12 to figure out how many dittos I need to kill. So, it's a decimal. What does that mean? So, if we can see, um, we can do 12 times 12. That's 144. So 12 ditto kills will give me 144 EVs. Um, all I need left after that is 8 EVs. So you can just figure that out by using a regular Pokemon. So um, I'm going to give my bag on the Macho Bracer. Now this guy also needs to get in the front of the party. And we're going to fly over to Fall Arbor Town. Fall Arbor. And you just go into this house here, which is where, like, the dig guy is. I don't know what his name is. And this is where you can find Ditto. So it's as simple as biking around and encountering dittos. Uh, there are going to be other wild Pokemon here, and since your Pokemon's probably low level like mine is, 
You're just gonna have to switch to another guy before uh, they fight. Now, um, one of the nice uh, things about this trick is the way I like to keep uh, track. Um, I can cover once. Um, dang, I can cover once I find a ditto. Now, ditto's probably around a forty percent encounter rate here, so it's not the most. It's not the. It's like pretty common. I think it's the most common out of the three, but it's still you know you're gonna get a few other guys. All right, so there we got a ditto. So, my guy comes out, we'll switch to the Groudon, who will give three attack EVs. So this is nice because it wastes a turn and it's the switch training process, so Ditto transforms here every time. Now on my Groudon, I like to use Solar Beam. It'll always Oko this other Groudon here, and uh, you can keep track using the moves PP. I have 16 PP in it, I need to do 12. Um, I need to do uh, I need to do 12 ditto kills so I can get the move to 4 PP remaining and that will mean I will have a maxed out attack stat. And uh, so using this method you only have to kill 12 dittos to max out a stat and then you can um, on top of that you're gonna need to do one or two more kills depending on your situation so um, I'll cover that once I have killed all of the dittos. I'll probably do a fast forward montage of me killing all of them because sometimes it can take a little bit. But this probably will take maybe 15 to 20 minutes tops to max out a stat. It's nothing compared to the Gen 6 horde training. Okay, so this is my last ditto uh, that I have to kill. And so, as you've seen, um, some of the few really nice things about this are, again, this Groudon outspeeds 100% of the time. 
I'm not sure why that is. It's got to be some obscure mechanic in Gen 3 as to why Ditto works this way. Um, but <clears throat> after I killed this Ditto, uh, as you can see, I kept track of it using the Solar Beam PP that I have. So I have, and it's nice that it one-shots as well. So um, this means I've killed 12 Dittos, um, and uh, that would be a 144 EVs on top of the 200, or 100 I already gave it with the... Um, vitamins that means I've got 244 EVs in attack right now um, so all we have to do is uh, finish up here and so to finish up the best way to do it is to uh, because if I'm trying to max out a stat um, in gen 7 I don't know if it was like this in gen 6 but in gen 7 and modern gens you actually can't go above 252 because going above 252 um, to 255 like you can in gens 3 4 and 5 at least um, means those three EVs are wasted, and so Gen 7 just disallowed wasting EVs. Um, however, um, because in this gen you can go over 252, that means if I did another 12, um, I would hit 255, I'd hit, the, I'd hit 256 actually, but it would cap out at 255, and it would be wa three wasted EVs that you could use elsewhere. So what you have to do is get exactly eight more EVs if you want to max the stat out. So... Um, to get those 8 EVs, the best way to do it is to either kill 2 Shuppets for attack stat, but you can look up. Basically what you want to do is um, kill 2 Pokemon uh, that give... Um, uh, 2 Pokemon that give 4 uh, EVs in total, which would be 1 EV normally. So I'm going to be doing attack, which means I'm going to be using Shuppet. Um... And I'll put a list of everyone that gives one EV uh, on the screen here. Um, and uh, I'll link to that EV yield in the description. But basically, you just want to look up a Pokemon that gives one EV. Because if you've got Macho Bracer and Pokeros, you'll get four EVs from that Pokemon. Uh, and you want to kill two of them. But you could alternatively look for a Pokemon that uh, gives two EVs normally. Which means you'd get eight in totality. Um, uh, so here, you can get... like. On my way to the Shuppets, sometimes I find a Mighty Yenna who gives two EVs, and I can kill that. Um, but here's a Shuppet regularly, so I'll kill one Shuppet. And then I'll, um, I'll go to Mount Pyre for their other Shuppet. And so these Pokemon are just nicer for, like, more precise EV training. Because they're normally giving you four each. Uh, once you have all of the modifiers stacked, of course. And so I just gotta kill one more Shuppet, and I'll have Maximize Attack. Another Shuppet here would be cool, but... Puchiana. He might give one in. Let's check. So, easy to check. We can just go into this list. Uh, it's gonna be hard to scroll down for all of the guys. You know, we can just search Control F. Puchiana gives one attack. So that means he'll be giving four attack, which is very nice. So cool. So I can just kill this Puchiana instead. And uh, that's the last Pokemon I need to kill. And so now my uh, my little guy's attack stat is maximized. You're not going to have really much of a way to check this other than doing like a stat calc. And remember, it, the EVs don't update until you either A, put it in the PC, or you um, uh, level it up, and then it'll be all evened out. Um, so in short, again, calculations are like this. I'll take out a calculator again. So, if you have Pokeros plus, actually, I probably just do this on the screen instead of a calculator. Well, uh, Pokeros only, and a Pokemon that gives three EVs, you'll get six. Or Macho Brace and a Pokemon that gives three EVs, you'll get six per. Uh, Pokemon with Macho Brace only and two EVs, you'll get four. Pokemon and Macho Brace only that gives one EVs normally, you'll get two. 
And uh, if you have Poke Rust plus Macho Brace, you can double all of those. So if a Pokemon normally gives one EVs and you have Macho Brace and Poke Rust, you get four per. Pokemon that uh, would normally give two EVs uh, with Poke Rust and Macho Brace will give eight EVs. And if it normally gives three, like we're doing with this Ditto trick, uh, with Poke Rust and Macho Brace, it'll get 12 per. And then you kind of just have to do the calculations uh, there to figure out how many kills you've got to do. Uh, with that being said, I hope this guide was helpful for all of you. Um, this should help for Battle Tower and just if you're doing any weird competitive stuff like I've been reading and doing lately. Um, you can use this list on Bulbapedia that I'll leave in the description uh, to figure out the best way to, like which Pokemon are the best ones to do. Um, I'll go over which ones I'm using really quick here at the end of this. But you don't have to use any one. And I think that the Legends are probably the best. And remember, to get the quick levels, you can always use a cloning glitch. So, let me organize, actually. So, for HP, I'm using x -Cloud. I There's no real good legends for x -Cloud. The best Gen 3 Legendary you could use for this is either Mew, if you can get to the island, or a Jirachi, if you have the bonus disc, or if you're in Europe, you can use Pokemon Channel. Uh, you can use Jirachi for this. Uh, attack, I think the best one is Groudon, especially if you've got Emerald version, you're always going to have access to both Kyogre and Groudon. Uh, for defense, you can use Regirock, but I'm using a Metagross here. Uh, for special attack, I'm using uh, Zapdos, uh, and uh, if you've got access to Southern Island, which if you have Emerald, you do, you can use Latios for this option instead. Uh, Latios, I think, is a very good... Oh, and you can also use Kyogre for a special attack. Latias, I think, is a very good option for this if you have Emerald because you can use the Palm Egg Glitch to get to um, Southern Island so you can get both Latis easily. Uh, however, um, uh, you can also use Regice for this role. And last but not least is Speed, where I think Raichu is probably your best bet. Alright, yeah, I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you guys in another video. I just want to thank my channel members so much. You guys are amazing. Without this kind of support, I wouldn't be able to put out the videos I do, and I wouldn't be able to stream as frequently. Um, thanks so much. If you want to consider becoming a member, just click the join button underneath this video or uh, at my channel page. Um, it's only $4.99 a month. It really helps me out. Um, I'm extremely uncomfortable doing these kinds of plugs, but I'm doing it anyway because the money helps. And uh, if you can't or don't want to, don't feel bad. I'm just asking because... Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. You're all amazing. Uh, see you next video. And a special shout out to Akroma and Super Saiyan, my Bliss God tier members. You guys are amazing, and your generosity is unbelievable. Thanks, guys.